Blade Games World is really excited to introduce Jumala, a game creation destination that gives anyone the power to create and share their own 3D games, no technical skills required. From The Sims to Minecraft to creation kits in Skyrim, millions of people are creating within games they play today. But why limit creativity to within a game? Why not give anyone the power to create their own games and to share them with their friends? You know, Verl, that is a great idea. Why don't you and I team up and make a game together? This is Jeff Hutt, our COO. All right, Jeff, let's get started. Good morning. So the game that we want to make today is a winter land adventure. And to do that, we'll first want to change the landscape so that it's more snowy. We'll want to place some basic objects in the world that are evocative of a winter land theme. And then, of course, we'll want to change out the sky and the lighting so that our game looks a little less summery. So let's get started with that. Great. Now, Jeff is working from one of the many templates that we give you in Jumala to get started, whether it's this jungle adventure here or an alien world or a spooky graveyard or a whole lot more. When you start creating in Jumala, we give you a limited set of capabilities at first. And as you demonstrate skills in creating games, as Jeff is doing here, you're earning experience points and eventually you level up. When you level up in Jumala, we open up more advanced features and functionality, which enables you to make more interesting and sophisticated games. The underlying platform in Jumala is incredibly robust, but to the consumer, Jumala is simply a game of making games. Okay, Jeff, looks like we've got a pretty interesting landscape here, but, but it's not really a game yet. It's just kind of a good looking world. You're absolutely right. So let's add some gameplay. And to do that, we're going to use our terrain editing tools to carve off a starter island here on the left with no obvious way to escape. Fun. You know what? That actually kind of reminds me of a game that I'm working on with my kids. Uh, we went on vacation to Lake Louise in Canada last summer. And what we're doing is using the terrain editor and a picture to recreate Lake Louise in Jumala. And in our game, of course, zombies are spawning out of the lake and they're chasing us down a path and we've got to flee and jump and find a teleporter and run out and escape. Uh, but of course, making this game with my kids is not only teaching them a little bit about Lake Louise and it's really fun, but it's also a great way for us to relive that experience together. You know, Verl, that does sound like a lot of fun. And speaking of teleporters, we actually have one in our world here, and I'm going to use that teleporter to get our players off of our starter island here. But since we're making an adventure game, I don't want this teleporter to be on by default. So what we're going to do is uh, place this teleporter, and then we're going to go into our inventory here and uh, choose this on-off switch. And I'm going to put that switch in, and then I'm going to connect it to that teleporter over there. Now, Jeff has put that switch in a pretty obvious place, but if he wanted to make his game harder, he could hide it somewhere else in the game, or he could require the player to have to defeat some enemies or capture some treasure or solve a puzzle before that switch activates. And what he's showing you here is actually some pretty complicated stuff. Historically, if you wanted to make a game with this kind of complicated logic, you would either have to know how to write code or to use some pretty sophisticated tools. And therefore, companies in this space targeted a very narrow market of serious game developers or aspiring and hobbyists. Jumala is breaking down these barriers. We enable anybody to get started right away creating games. And yet, for a more advanced player, we have a very sophisticated set of creation capability. Jumala is architected for everyone. Okay, Jeff, what should we do next in our game? Well, you know, Verl, no game is complete without enemies, so let's go to our marketplace and buy a few. Great. Jumala is free to play. We've got a ton of content in our marketplace that's going to get you started creating right away. And we've got thousands of interactive items, enemies, props, hazards, and more that you can buy. We make money selling virtual goods. Piper Jaffray predicts that's a growing global marketplace worth about $6 billion by the end of 2013. But Jumala isn't the only supplier of virtual goods into our marketplace. Eventually, we're going to enable third parties to be able to upload their own original content and sell it to our consumers. You see, our business model doesn't require a hit game to be successful. What we're doing in Jumala is making it easy for everyone to create games just for fun and to share them with their friends. Okay, Jeff, how's it going? I think it's coming along nicely. I think we're ready to share the game out to the Jumala community. And in addition to the community, we can share it out on our favorite social networks like Twitter and Facebook as well. Now, what Jeff built here for you very quickly is a very simple platform game. 
but this is just the beginning of what you're going to be able to create in Jumala. Eventually, we'll be able to let you make any kind of game you want. Shooters, racing games, educational games for your kids, and you'll be able to collaborate on tablets, browsers, and more. Today, Jumala is available for download in beta to the PC at Jumala.com. Everybody watching this video and everybody here at Demo, if you download Jumala today, I'm gonna to give you 5,000 spark in your account to get you started. We want everyone here creating games in Jumala because at Jumala, we're bringing game creation to everyone. I'm Verl Hill, CEO of Blade Games World. Thank you. <laughs>